my friends, it's me, Plunkett Rose, and welcome to Storytime with Plunkett Rose. I'm outside in my backyard here in New Plymouth, and I'm underneath my Fijoa tree with my friends Minnie and Mickey Mouse joining me to listen to the story. Today's story, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So let's get into it, my friends. Once there were three bears who lived together in a cozy little cottage. Each morning they made yummy scrummy porridge for breakfast. It was the best meal of the day. But one morning baby bear said, ouch, this porridge is hot, hot, hot. Let's take a walk before breakfast and give it time to cool, said mummy bear. And so they did. No sooner had the bears left than someone peeked in through the window. Someone with bright golden hair. Her name was Goldilocks and she was a very cheeky little girl. Goldilocks tap, tap, tapped on the door. Hello, she called. Hello. When no answer came, she pushed the door open and crept inside to explore. What a delicious smell! Goldilocks tipped into the kitchen and saw three bowls of yummy, scrummy porridge on the table. She slurped Daddy Bear's porridge, but it was too lumpy. She sipped Mummy Bear's porridge but it was too sweet. Then she tasted baby bear's porridge and it was just right. So she ate it all up. There we go. She loves baby bear's porridge. And what color? What color is baby bear's bowl? It's green. Goldilocks was very full, so she looked around for somewhere to sit. There in the sitting room were three magnificent chairs. She tried Daddy Bear's chair, but it was too hard. She squished into Mummy Bear's chair, but it was too soft. Then she rocked in Baby Bear's chair. It was just right. Whee! cried Goldilocks as she rocked and rocked faster and faster until... Oh! Crash! Went the chair and it broke into a hundred pieces. Oopsie! giggled Goldilocks. She was having so much fun. I wonder what's upstairs. Up in the bedroom were three wonderful beds. Goldilocks jumped on Daddy Bear's bed, but it was too squeaky. She bounced on Mummy Bear's bed, but it was too squashy. Then she hopped to Baby Bear's bed. It was just right. snored Goldilocks. She had fallen fast asleep. Look at that little teddy. Have you got a teddy? But as Goldilocks slept on, the three bears came home. They were very, very hungry. And when they opened the door, someone's been eating my porridge, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, rumbled Mummy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Baby Bear. And now it's all gone. It 
And before Mummy Bear could make some more porridge, they heard a loud roar from the sitting room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, rumbled Mummy Bear, rushing over. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby Bear, and now it's broken. But before Daddy Bear could fix the chair, they all heard a noise coming from above. One after the other, the three bears crept up the stairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, rumbled Mummy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby Bear. And she's still here. Goldilocks opened her eyes. Yikes, she shrieked. The three very hungry bears were staring down at her. Goldilocks leapt up and dashed down the stairs and bumped into the kitchen table. Smack! The bowls of porridge flew up, up, up. And the gooey porridge fell splat onto her golden hair. Ew! yelped Goldilocks. The last the three bears saw of Goldilocks was her dashing down the path, leaving a very sticky trail of porridge behind her. Someone's covered in yummy, scrummy porridge, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's covered in licky, sticky honey, tutted Mummy Bear. Can we have toast for breakfast instead, said Baby Bear. And so they did. Bye bye, Goldilocks. No more going into people's house without permission. Thank you again, my friends, for joining me here, Storytime with Plunkett Rose. I hope you have a wonderful day and do lots of playing and do lots of relaxing as well. Let me know what your favorite book is and I'll see if I've got it in my library. And if I don't, we'll get it up on the tablet, on my little computer tablet, and we'll read it from there instead. Thank you for joining me, my friends. Have a lovely day. Bye.